See, this is exactly the kind of fake news which Rahul Gandhi and, uh, and company, they are uh, propagating. I mean, it's a pack of lies. You think the Prime Minister of India is going to transfer data to some private company in the US? Come on, yeah, don't be nuts to believe this kind of things. I mean, if you're going to believe fake stories, there is no end to that. If you take a telephone directory, you have the name of the person, you have the address of the person, you have the telephone number. What is given in Aadhaar? It's very simple. You have the name, the address. You are not even expected to give the mobile, your uh, email ID. You are not expected to give your mobile number. So Aadhaar collects the least amount of information. Like when I fill up the application for my American visa, I had to fill up 10 pages of information, starting with my grandfather, to my father, to wherever I went in the past 30 years, my uh, email ID, my WhatsApp uh, number, my uh, Facebook um, ID, I had to give everything. And we have no problem. But when the government of India asks you for the simplest thing, your name and your address, we have a huge problem saying there is a privacy issue concerned. Now, let me also tell you, what is very, very private about the digital, the Aadhaar is the biometric uh, information and your um, iris. This data is with the UAID and let, us, let me assure you, this data has never been breached. It's completely secure. There's not been one case of the biometric data ever having leaked from Aadhaar at all. So what we are saying is, even if somebody, see we have given authorization to a whole lot of people, especially government agencies, for accessing information regarding Aadhaar because they are the ones who made the Aadhaar card. They are the ones who make the modification. So we give an authority to a whole lot of people, including state governments, to, state government departments to, uh, with the password. Now, anybody kind of going with the password and feeding in an Aadhaar number, you will get the details. What details will you get? You will get the name and the address. That's all. You cannot have any verification done on, uh, based on that information at all. So there is nothing more than what is available in the telephone directory. In fact, much less information is available, can be accessed from the Aadhaar card by anybody. And the biometric data yeah, it's not been breached. It will not be breached because we have set up such security wall around that. But sir, the actual issue is when we are talking about Aadha, it's a mandatory thing. But when we are talking about the American visa, it's actually left to the people's choice. If they don't wish to share their interest, they can not, they can choose not to apply for this visa. But the Aadha has become mandatory. Now we have to link our bank accounts and all other related data because the Aadha details. See, it's very simple. We said if you want to get any government benefit, you must have an Aadhaar. Now, again, government has made it very clear. We do not deny anybody any government benefit, including your ration, your provisions, your ration, even if you don't have an Aadhaar card. There is a provision in the ration shops where if you don't have an Aadhaar card, you just enter in a register saying, well, I don't have an Aadhaar card. That's it. It's very simple. And we don't deny any benefit to anybody because there is no Aadhaar card. We don't. And therefore, see, every citizen in every country must have an ID card. I think it's so important that the citizen, I think it empowers you. It gives you an identity with which you can get all the benefits. Hundreds of services are available based on the Aadhaar, Aadhaar number. So therefore, the whole intention is very simple. It is to empower the citizen. Now, if somebody doesn't want to be empowered, you can choose not to take the Aadhaar card. Your, the choice is yours. Nobody is forcing you.